Incursion, Red River. Is that a canted aug? Say less. Let's see what kind of a game we got here. Is it going to be a Tarkov? It might be a Tarkov. Why not? Okay, shooting range contains a number of targets. Put on your gunner optics to protect yourself from blue light for the low, low price of way too much. Did I skip the tutorial for how to grab the glasses? Get me out of here. Take me to the Incursion Red River. Here we go. Here's a DSM. We got it, sir. The terminal. This is where emails come in. Finally, a shooting range where I can check my emails. A stash is where you have all your stuff. Cool to know. This is very day before esque. Now, let's see what kind of emails we got. Any good emails? Let's deploy to this mission. That sounds good. Uh, I probably should have hit provided loadout. Yeah, there we go. Give me a gun. I need a gun first. This is like an Arma 3 looking iPad. Is this an Arma game? Is this Arma Tarkov? DayZ is Arma. Extraction Arma Tarkov game? Ready up. Yeah, private lobby. That sounds good. Uh, I'm ready. Let's go. The third person guy does not look as good as the first person hand animation did. So let's go ahead and zoom back into those hands. How did that plane land? There's no runway. Did the game crash? Did we crash already? It's not going. It's not responding. Yep, okay, that's good. The mission did not work. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. And we're back. We're going to try to go to the mission once again. Fun fact, the task manager EXE for this game is called Project Quarantine, which is not what the game is called. So there's probably an asset pack called Project Quarantine that this is built off of. Isn't that so interesting? This game is just endlessly fascinating. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Let's not crash this time. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hang on. We're loading in. The incursion's about to begin. I repeat, the incursion is about to begin. The Red River refers to the river of blood. That's about to flow forth from my foes. Welcome to Query. This is the only map of the demo. GPS allows you to view the map. The GPS is four. All right. Cool to know. Now, is there a gun around here somewhere? This guy walks very strangely. I'm not aware of any other people that walk with their hands like that, but you know. For sprinting, kind of. Like, for sprinting, you can do it. But when you're just walking around, who, like, walks around doing a milk and the cow motion? Do I have anything in the old inventory? I Oh, I have an AK. Yeah, give me that. How do I use it? Oh, here we go. Yeah. How do I can't? What's the canted aim button? I saw canting in the thumbnail for the game on Steam. Gameplay. Oh, no key binds. Switching to your pistols faster than reloading. Fire mode, point shooting. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Let's go take down that outpost. Hello, outpost. Any bad guys on the old GPS? Zooming in. The outpost contains many squares of the white and beige variety. Hello, point of interest. I was promised something interesting. Oh. There they are. Okay, the point shooting is not working. Let's try the actual aiming. That could work a little bit better. Eh. Eh. Did I win? I got him. I incurred a red river of his blood. And his blood as well. Great. 
now they all know I'm here. Do I have a med kit? No med kit, just bullets. Who's doing that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the, he just fell, that guy fell from the sky. He was falling from the sky. Leave game? Uh, I mean, I kind of just want to stay here. Loading screens can be very dangerous in Incursion Red River. Alright, let's try again. I need some challenges and some contracts. I didn't have a goal. I was just wandering around. I gotta find the computer that gives you a mission. Yeah, crack those knuckles. Okay, is there a computer that can give me a mission? Are you a mission? You're a million bullets. I don't not want a million bullets. I think I dropped them on the floor, though. Who's got the mission computer? Anybody? How's a pistol looking? Is a pistol good? It's pretty good. How about this? Ooh, there we go. Now we're playing ready or not. You gotta give credit to ready or not. Ready or not is one of the few games that like has really good first person gun animations that also actually like is done and is a game. A lot of games come out and this, this is early on in Incursion Red River's life cycle. So who knows if it'll be a finished game or not. But a lot of games like, yeah, our guns, the first person view models are pretty good. They're animated quite deliciously. The only problem is that the game doesn't exist. But ready or not is like, dude, our guns look cool and the game is like, you can play it. An unprecedented combo in the gaming industry. Modern Warfare 3 wasn't even done when they released that game. They're like, eh, we don't really have a campaign, but you can still pay full price. You're welcome. All right, bad guy base, hello? Maybe I should crouch for more stealth. Oh, bad guy. Peek out. There's two. Oh, they're AIing me. Chat GPT, dude. I'm getting flanked on all sides. Using realistic AI on me. All right, one down. I incurred one guy. There were two, though. Where'd his friend go? I think there were two. Maybe it was just one guy glitching out. But I'm pretty sure there was two Tango bad guys. I want to go loot this guy's body. Because I'll just get shot. Is his body here? Yeah, there it is. Let's just push up a little bit and go up. Oh, give him one of these. It's a nice brick bunker. I should be safe. These things keep you pretty safe in Battlefield 1943. A game which is no longer playable online, unfortunately. I used to play so much Battlefield 1943. Battlefield 1943 was so good. But then when Battlefield 1943 was like shutting down permanently, like we are now shutting down Battlefield 1943 forever. I was like, no, I like that game. And I was like, oh, I got to look up some gameplay for old time's sake. And I looked up some gameplay. I was like, oh my God, this game sucks. That game is really bad. For the time, though. Like when that game came out, it was like, oh man, this, this is great. This is one of the best games ever. But if you go if you go watch game club, you're like, holy crap. We were we were starving for options back then. Like it's just bad company one, but World War Two. But even bad company one gameplay is way better than that. And again, I'm not saying I didn't like it. I love that game. I probably have over a hundred hours on Battlefield 1943. It's just uh didn't exactly age too well. Oh, I killed the other guy? I didn't even know I did that. Wow. Is my skill boundless? Is there no end to my power? Why can't I have the gun? Item is not compatible. What? I mean, not compatible. Yeah, me and the AUG, we just, we just don't really get along. We just don't see eye to eye. 
And the AK has always been there for me. The AK has been a good friend. The AUG, though, that guy, I, I just don't like that guy. He's a Scorpio, yeah. Are there modded servers for 1943? Maybe. There's not that much content in 1943 at all. 1942 has a bunch of stuff. 1943 is the one that's on Xbox Live Arcade and has like three maps. 1942 is like the old, old one that grandpa's played on the school lab computer. Jinzetsu, thank you for gifting subs. Two... Murcock, you can be Merlin, he's like a wizard. And Aquarius Star, well, video killed you. Plastic pollution killed the Aquarius Star. Uh, can I have the old communicator? Okay, old communicator. Gimme, gimme, gimme. That backpack seen a little bit incompatible. I'm thinking of 1942. Yeah, 1942 is the old one. 1942 is the one that had desert combat. Imagine being the devs that made desert combat. RIP. RIP to that studio. It worked out pretty good for them, though. They made desert combat, and they had a solid, like, seven or eight years run of decent funding behind them before all their games flopped, unfortunately. Like, here's our Desert Combat mod. And DICE is like, alright, we'll make that a real game. And they're like, oh, cool, can we uh, help? Nah. Captain Chromosome, thank you for subscribing. You can be Ublock Origin, which is still working on my YouTube. Knock on wood, knock on bamboo shoot. My YouTube ads ain't getting through yet. Sooner or later. We're all forced to watch YouTube ads. Here's one right now. Nah, there won't be an ad right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was out of, no out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. What did I do to incur that? Come on. Give me the pistol. Have no more AK ammo, I guess. On Oboe Shoes 2s, I just let YouTube auto place the ads. Because I don't feel like doing it. And it just waits for a moment of like at least 10 seconds of silence. And it puts an ad there. So during an epic shootout, there will not be an ad. Probably. And we're dead. You died and lost all your loot. That's good. Love losing my loot. Maybe we'll see if the firing range has cool guns. Can I use not just the AK in the firing range somehow? Maybe this has it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Compatible? All I have is MP5 and AK. Okay, well. We'll see how the MP5 goes, I guess. I suppose. If I can figure out what button activates the firing range. Is it you, target dummy? Am I a dummy? Is it you, steel door? Hmm. Can I bring the MP5 into the field with me, actually? What if I do that? Maybe the MP5 will bring me great success. I should have gone to the trader. I keep wanting to go to the trader. Hang on, go back to the hideout. I want to see if the store has stuff. Anything go to the shops these days? Oh my god, everything's at the shop. How much uh, money do I got? I got $50,000, dude. Oh, give me that. Give me the suppressed one. $590 for a suppressed MP5? In this economy? What kind of ammo do you want, MP5? Not MP5, yeah, MP5. You want the... What kind of bullets do you like? 9x19, I guess? Yeah, give me all those. Give me all you got. Honestly, give me everything. Give me a, give me a handguard. Sure. Give me painkillers. Got to have those. Got to have a helmet. Got to have everything. Not enough funds. I spent all my money. Uh oh. All right, there we go. 
All right, load me out. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had an MP5, I'd sell it in a second. I don't have a knife. No knife currently. Uh, I guess this item conflicts with the following. Yeah, I know it does. I guess those are the same backpack. Do I have anything better than my current? This helmet weighs more. Does that mean it's more protective? Where's my guy's helmet? Does he have a helmet on? Weaponry. There's the helmet. This helmet weighs way more. That means it's way good. Actually, no. Put it... What? Put it on. My candy wear. It just is red. It just says red box. I can put it in a backpack. I don't want to put it in a backpack, though. I want to put it on my dome. There we go. I had to unequip the other one. Why do neither of the MP5s have stocks? I guess the person who made this is a fan of uh, Modern Warfare 2 as opposed to COD 4. The Modern Warfare 2 MP5 is considerably stubbier. Uh, yeah. Ammunition box. Just bring it all. Bring all the ammo. No such thing as too many bullets. All right, now that we've done our taxes, we'll stand a 0.5% better chance of not dying instantly. That could be pretty fun. Actually, aren't these the MP5 ones? Aren't you guys the MP5 rounds? No, those say MP5 on them. So I don't know, who cares? Put me back in, coach, I'm ready. Eye and ear protection at all times, okay. This looks like, looks like one of the, the 3D movie glasses they have. Where they're like, hey, be, be a good guy and return your 3D glasses. Remember those? I haven't worn 3D glasses to see a movie in... I, I hope it's been a decade. It seems like I haven't done that in forever because there's a terrible gimmick that sucks. But whenever you're done watching a 3D movie, they have that like trash can where they're like, recycle your 3D glasses. So you're like, I want to take these home. These could be useful for zero applications. You don't understand. I got the super duper special edition avatar glasses. They say avatar on them. These are going to be worth something someday. All right, here we go. MP5, baby. Stockless. Stockless MP5 for maximum accuracy. Got to cant that bad boy as well. Oh, there we go. Now we're gaming. Over there, I always die. I always die in that fort. I have more uh, success on this fort over here. Let's see what this one has to offer. What are we getting with this experience here? Can I harvest this red plant as like a health kit? In some games, you can do that. Hmm, what kind of a game are we playing today? Let's see. How do I get my fist back out? Can I get my fist out? I want to punch a tree. Gotta punch a tree. If it was a tree puncher type game, then the red herb is probably health. But if it's not, then the health is like pills or a med kit. Oh yeah, I have pills on me. I have a 3D TV at home with proprietary glasses. It's a gimmick and hasn't been used in decades. Yeah, it's dumb. Whoa, 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 uh oh. Big TV is after me. Big 3D is not happy. <laughs> in every game that has canted aim, I always do the canted aim and I forget I have it on. And then when I go to aim down, I'm like, crap, I can't aim and I die every time. It's a trap. It's a trap for noobs. All right, so there was two guys over here last time, right? Where's your partner in crime?
Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. Maybe he's up here. Hmm. Look at that. They got the scope MP5. Give me that one. So long, crappy MP5. Now I have a scope one. Can you cant the scoped one? Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, 3DS was good. The best part about 3DS, though, is the 3D sucks, and you just don't use it. All the games on 3DS are really good, but the 3D part is like, eh. I don't need that part. Also, there you can watch like a 3D video in VR. Like all these people that made like crappy 3D movies when 3D TVs were a thing that nobody ever watched are like, oh, you can watch it 3D in VR, and it's like it's okay. It's kind of cool, but watching watching a 3D movie in VR, like a 3D video in VR, doesn't really have a wow factor because you're in VR. Like in in terms of wow factor, that make your brain go, dude. Like, VR is way higher than, like, 3D TV. So, seeing a 3D TV in VR, you're not impressed because you're already in VR. You're, you're already, like, sitting in a movie theater like, dude, it's like I'm really there. So, when Avatar pops off the screen, we're like, well, yeah, of course he's going to pop off the screen. I'm wearing a virtual glasses. Yeah. Duh. Like, favor, subscribe if I should start a virtual reality review channel. The review of virtual reality is it sucks and don't buy it. It can be kind of fun, but uh, currently for the price point, it sucks and don't get it. I have it, and I use it like <laughs> once every six months when I'm bored. I'm like, I'll play some Beat Saber. It could be all right. Make big bucks reviewing VR? Oh, yeah. All three of the people that have VR headsets like, oh, I can't wait for Oboe's review on this new not-that-good shooter game. Wow, I can't wait to be a robot with floating hands in this all-new VR experience. Call it virtual insanity. Yeah, Oboe's virtual insanity. Dancing. Walking, rearranging furniture. I was killed. I was killed by a family guy meme. What a cruel, cruel fate. Cruel, cruel world, must I go on? Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. Been watching Family Guy funny moments. They made me want to die. Incursion Red River did not make me want to die. It's just one of those games that uh, you question the existence of. Because it's like, this is here. It definitely is an extraction shooter, single player thing. But like, why? Like, why, why do you make this? This game already exists, you know? Like, you can already play this game. You can already play several of these games. So I'm not really sure why you would make one. But I wish the developers of Incursion Red River the best of luck because the canted MP5 is pretty cool. <laughs>